This clip will be a graphic slash physical representation of probability rule number 6, where probability for a given data is divided into data likelihoods for each model. See clip 2b for an intro to the probability rules. Rule number 6 is important mainly because of Bayes' formula, which says that the probability for a model given data is the probability of data given the model times the prior probability of the model divided by the unconditioned or prior or marginal data probability written here as PR of D. This unconditional probability of the data is often the problem child of this relationship. In clip 5 a graphical interpretation of this rule was introduced where areas represented probabilities. For in this case three models, the total area or probability of the data is the probability of the data given model 1, zoomed out, plus the probability for the data given model 2, zoomed out, plus the probability of the data given model 3, zoomed out. I will now give another mental picture for looking at this rule in the hope of developing probabilistic intuition. Let's first go back to the formula for rule number 6. As you can see, the probability for the data is a weighted sum of the probabilities for the data given each model. This can be shown on a line representing probability. For each model, Place along the x-axis an imaginary weight equal to the model probability at a distance equal to the likelihood. Since we've got a weighted sum, the total data probability is the point of equilibrium along the x-axis. Here's an example from clip 3. If you throw a die, cover all but one arbitrary corner, and there's no eye in that corner, like this, the probability for that data, no eye in the corner, is found by looking at the data probabilities for each uh, different outcome. For 1, it's uh, 100%. For 2 and 3, it's 50%. And for the rest, it's uh, the chance is zero percent. So let's place these weights on the line. First one to the far right, then two and three in the middle, and at last four, five and six to the left. Each outcome has a probability one over six from the principle of symmetry. The balancing point is one over three, which is the probability for getting no eye in the corner. And this can be used for calculating the probability for getting a 1 when there's no eye in the corner, for instance. This will be 1 times 1 over 6 divided by 1 over 3 is equal to 50%. The probability for getting the outcome 2 will be 1 half times 1 over 6 divided by 1 over 3 is 25%. And the same for outcome 3. If you've got only two models, say M and not M, you can clearly see that the unconditional, that is prior data probability, will be found somewhere between the data probability condition on M and the data probability condition on not M. If the probability for the data is lower given M than the prior probability for the data, the balancing point, then the probability for the data given not M must be higher than the prior to compensate for this. This goes the other way too. If the likelihood is smaller for M than not M, then the likelihood for M is smaller than the prior. It's assumed here that each model has at least a little probability. These principles can be shown algebraically as well, but I thought a visual approach might be more informative. I can illustrate these principles further with the rain example from clip 3. Uh, the original setting was that if rain implies overcast and is overcast, uh, that makes rain more probable. The implication rain implies overcast was relaxed into the probability of overcast given rain is greater than the initial probability for overcast, the prior. 
From the weathering principle, this means that the probability of overcast giving not rain is smaller than the prior probability for overcast. So if you learn that it's raining, that means that the probability for overcast increases. And if you learn that it's not raining, that means that the probability for overcast decreases, at least dramatically. Also, you can see that the only way to make the data irrelevant, i.e. for the likelihood under the, the model to be equal to the prior, is to slide both the likelihood under M and the likelihood under not M to the balancing point, i.e. the prior probability for the data. So when the data is irrelevant, the probability for the data given m is equal to the probability for the data given not m. Again, this could be shown algebraically as well. I hope this balancing metaphor um, can develop some intuition into rule number 6, which is quite useful for handling probabilities. It's also worth mentioning that a similar mental tool can be used for the concept of expectation. If you've got a numerical value attached to each outcome, as you've got in the die throw example, uh, the expectation is the sum of the numeric outcomes weighted with the probabilities. So the expectation value of one throw of die is one sixth times one plus uh, 1 6 times 2 and so forth up to 1 6 times 6 and this sum is equal to 3.5 of course you won't expect the outcome 3.5 but this will be the weighted average of the possible outcomes expectation has the nice quality that it's linear that is the expectation of two throws of a die is two times the expectation of one throw of a die so it's 7, and if you divided uh, each outcome with 7, the expected value would be 3.5 divided by 7 is equal to 1 half. Expectation is quite useful when you want a quick summary of a probability distribution, or if you are considering risk. Risk is expected loss. I may talk uh, more about this subject later, but now I'll uh, leave it alone.